Okay, boom, well, guys, take a breath. Five-year-old Ethan Weisbrod is seconds away from going to sleep for an angiogram at the University of Kansas Hospital. All right, dear. Go to sleep. He's in a happy mood because this procedure could clear the way for him to play in gym class again with his friends. This is a side view of an MRI that shows this very large, irregularly shaped aneurysm. Ethan hasn't been allowed any group play since this was discovered. An aneurysm the size of a ping pong ball, medically defined as giant. It was about an inch and a half, which is the diameter of a ping pong ball. And to find one of that size, yeah, that's, that's startling. Him. Him. <laughs> You're next. Ethan was much less playful on his first trip to this operating room. The giant aneurysm had caused a seizure. Aneurysms are extremely rare in children. Dr. Ebersaw believes Ethan's was caused when he hit his head on a door hard enough to need stitches two months prior. The mom saw the whole thing happen and she, she said she was startled by uh, how profound the impact was. So it's a traumatic aneurysm, meaning the blood vessel got injured, torn as a consequence of that impact. Dr. Ebersaw used the latest and largest size coils to fill the giant aneurysm. Now he's testing to make sure the aneurysm is no longer bleeding. We closed it with the latest generation of supersized coils and essentially delivered the coils inside of the aneurysm and then continued the coils into the blood vessel that supplies the aneurysm, closing both the blood vessel and the aneurysm simultaneously to minimize the chance of this thing ever coming back. The coils themselves will always be there, but they will be imperceptible to the brain. The test confirms what Dr. Ebersol expected, and it's good news for Ethan's parents anxiously waiting. It, it looks perfect, okay? That aneurysm is gone. Um, it's not coming back. Ethan gets one wish this Christmas. He's back in the games at gym time. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick. All right, brave little man, let's see.